Hello everyone, it's Tifa with Titan and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here because you're looking for things celebrating the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake today, then welcome to my channel. We do a lot of card openings, but today we have some special videos. I earlier in the previous video just unboxed my first class edition of the game. So if you're interested in seeing any of that or perhaps looking at my full cosplay outfit, make sure to check out that video. But right now we're going to be opening a product we have not opened on the channel before. We don't quite carry this anymore, but we did have some laying around. If you're interested in any personal breaks, feel free to reach out. We do have some boxes of Opus 1, 2, 3, and 4 left in stock to my knowledge but definitely like i said send us a message on our website if you're interested in seeing me open that if you get it today you might see me as opening stuff as tifa again but we are going to be opening a box of the opus 3 because it does have sephiroth on the cover it is relevant to final fantasy and he is beautiful and i just want to see sephiroth cards that that's really all i want out of life at this moment is just more sephiroth so it's cool last video i did it was big the first class it was huge because it had the uh, Play Arts Kai of Cloud with the Hardy Daytona in its own box. It was just, it was humongous. I had to do some weird camera setup, so I didn't get to snap myself into the corner. Although I did practice snapping earlier, and I'm going to blame it on the gloves today because they were pretty weak. But let's snap me into the corner so I can get this box open. Yeah, that was pretty bad. But let's get right into this because I'm excited. I actually collected this... I'm not, I'm not going to say the set, but like these cards when they first came out, because I just thought they were cool. Never learned how to play the game, which you may notice is a theme of mine on the channel. I collect Weiss, but I don't play it. I collect Final Fantasy, but I don't play it. I have magic cards. I vaguely play magic. I play some arena. Haven't in a while. I understand how the game works, though, at least on that one. So, you know, when I talk about it, I sound more intelligent. <laughs> well, then I'm like, you know, a little pretty Sephiroth, you know, but, you know, hey. Are you going to argue with me that he's not pretty? Like, I don't know. But... I'm excited. I actually forgot that, okay, these are pull tab packs, so this video is probably going to take a while. But I'm excited to get into this, because like I said, I used to collect these. Haven't opened any in a while, haven't really seen any in a while. I know they're like Opus, like what, 9 or something now? And I see them and I'm like, oh, I want it, but like I really shouldn't get any more. But like I'm going to have my fun time opening these. Probably steal some cards for myself. Hopefully we get a nice shiny Sephiroth card. I was collecting like the Decidia variants, like the uh, the ghost forms, like the you know the ones where they're all one color and they're kind of like clear looking, and then also the ones where it's like kind of like I don't know they're animated like battle stance. It looks kind of like it would be the uh, CGI from the different trailers for Decidia, but anyway, maybe I can get some of those that I don't have. Can't really remember what I do have, so it doesn't quite matter. But let's get right into this box because like I said, we're just having a good time. I'm dressed up as Tifa. We're celebrating the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake with some cool cards. Make sure I set the focus properly. And we're just going to go through and see what we get. Just have a good time looking at all these shiny cards. We have commons. We have a four rare of king, which are kind of like uncommons. It's quite strange. This goes like rare, what? Rare hero and legend, I think, are the rarities. So. Yeah, rare hero. Give you black feral chaos. So if you start seeing random piles, it's weird because it feels like the rares are like uncommons. I feel like I just said that. But yeah, I was collecting like these. You know, the different like the city kind of the Tifa. It's me, guys. Look, it's me. We have a, a full hero, Guido. Angeal, beautiful man right there. Very you know, deserve better. Angeal deserve better. Genesis deserve better. Although he was kind of a nutcase, and uh, Sephiroth deserve better. It's all Hojo's fault. That's that's my hot take. Hojo Hojo ruined everything. Which I mean is kind of kind of a fact, but like you know, I mean I'm not saying that they they did good things, but it, it's Hojo's fault. Haven't actually played Dirge of Cerberus because I, I never owned a PS2, but oh look at Cloud. But I have watched all the cutscene movies, which is apparently easier than playing the game itself. Because you know, it's kind of weird. But yeah, yeah, the Hojo, you know, if I were uh, not attempting to get monetized and my parents did not watch these videos, I'd have some uh, nice strings of words to say to Hojo. And by nice, I mean not nice. I digress. I'm sure you all have heard it all before. White Tiger, Lassie, Kidney. Rare foil. Hero. Crimps. I don't believe there is much, if anything, of value in the set anymore, but I just, like I said, I like the way the cards look. 
I don't have my glasses on, so I'm squinting to make sure I'm keeping everything in focus. Tifa doesn't wear glasses. Oh, we have a uh, S card. Oh, it's in the starter deck, so it's a starter deck foil. Alright, because I did have a Final Fantasy Type-0 starter deck, but it was Ace. That's cool. Probably keep that one for me. There's a couple. I think I have that cloud already, but if I don't, I'm definitely keeping that cloud for me. I have a Zidane hero, or Zidane, sorry. I remember his, uh, I don't think it's that one, but one of his cards used to be like $30. I don't think it's worth anything anymore, but I was like, I want it though, it's cool, he's a monkey boy, I wanted it. So I spent a lot of money on these cards, look, I have foils a day too, when uh, these cards came out. I remember the Kuju was actually decently priced, but uh, the Garnet was expensive, things like that. Angeal Pennant. And Jill deserve better. But, um, yeah, so I remember, I remember this game actually used to be, like I said, pretty popular in our area. Not so much anymore. Might get back into collecting these cards, even though I shouldn't, should spend all my money on uh, unique Star Wars cards. But hey, sometimes, you know, your brain wants you to do things that aren't always the best option. So, we will see. We have an Aerith Legend. Very nice. That is the rarest rarity, I believe, Legend. Black Chocobo that's actually purple. Tifa, neat. Quinella. Fang the Nick Gogo Hero foil. Ace. Gloof Hero. It's weird because we do have some singles, like we've never really adjusted the price on them. Listed on TCG Player, because you know it's it's not really our priority. Maybe one day I'll go through and do it. But we still occasionally do sell some Final Fantasy cards, and they'll have to be like what color is this? Because, I, you know, I don't know where they... <gasps> I'm pretty sure I need this. We have a legend foil of Zack. Please protect this man. He deserved better. You know, poor Aerith, but... Uh, poor Aerith, like, in general, but, you know, poor Zack, poor Aerith. That's awesome. We have a Zack legend foil. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to put that actually in its own little pile. I'm not going to put... Not... Okay, I'll put them together. They're together, guys. I fixed it. Fixed it. Just delete Hojo and then uh, fix it. Uh -huh. But I don't know. If uh, Final Fantasy VII teaches us anything, it's a uh, respect the planet. Stop messing with things that don't need to be messed with, and don't let crazy people be your head of science. And uh, don't let a uh, horrible electric power companies uh, ruin the world. So we have another legend, a Zodiac Keeper of Precepts. That is from Final Fantasy XII, which is one of the games that I do own for my PS4 that I bought on Black Friday, which I actually bought that, and it was a pretty good sale at, like, GameStop, you know, but, um, you know, the used games are like, what, buy two, get one on Black Friday? And I got that, I got, someone had already traded in a copy of Jedi Fallen Order, and I was like, I really want this game, I'm gonna play it, never played it. But I got that, I got Final Fantasy twelve. if I can play that. It's 12 or 11. Should be 12 with uh, Vaughn and whatnot. The cat girl. I have a VP Legend. It's cool. I'm not sure if I have this card. I was collecting all the Final Fantasy IX ones. See, I've never, I never played the irregular Final Fantasy VII for the PS1. Because I never had a PS1. But they are playable on the PS3. And backwards compatible with PS1 games but not PS2 games. Which is quite strange. Or at least the version of the PS3 that I do have. And I actually have Final Fantasy IX. And I got to a point, I was playing it, I was having a good time. And, you know, not that far in, but I got to, like, the ice caves. But I had, like, where I had saved, I had saved it, like, bad health to the point where I don't, I keep losing. I can't get through the cave without dying. So I think I actually just need to start the game over, because I don't think there's any way for me to, to get through that. And then I just, I haven't picked up since, because I was, you know. You know how it be sometimes. Why, why is my face blue? Okay. Anyway, let's go through this. I've been talking a lot. Hopefully, you all have a good time. We've got another Legend Foil, Ultima, the High Seraph from Final Fantasy XII. Have to cover up Zack, but that is what the piles demand. Yep, I am definitely taking way too long in this video. We don't even look like we're halfway through. I'm just enjoying looking at all the cards. I hope you are as well. Perhaps you've never seen some of these Final Fantasy cards before. Perhaps you didn't even know it was a game. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know it was a game. But, it's cool. It's cool. They do look... Cards always look cool. Cool characters. I kind of... I watched some tutorials on how to play the game when it first came out. 
ne didn't quite understand it. I know something about the um, EX cards you... Alright, I don't even remember, so I'm not going to even pretend that I remember. But this card used to be expares. expensive. I combined the name of the card and expensive, and I said expenses. Well, there's Ferris. Hero card. But I do believe Opus 3 now is one of the cheapest ones overall. So if you just like to collect cards, it might be a good option for you to do a personal break if you are so interested in having me open up a box for you. You have to plug it. That is uh, kind of my job to promote our store and openings because in these quarantine times we are closed. You know, of course, as we have to be, but also because we want people to really just, you know, stay at home, not have to go out for non-essential purposes. But, you know, sometimes when you're at home, you're like, but I just, I want packs. I want to be able to open stuff. I want to see people opening cards. And, oh, we dropped a, what was that? We dropped a unit? No, we dropped a dancer. You know, oh, Floral Gilgamesh, that looks cool. You know, sometimes you just, you just want, yes, Sephiroth. Sometimes you just want to open cards or watch people open cards. You know, you're like, I want that brand new OPG uh, Premium Hockey that comes out next week, which we will be getting. We will have breaks available for those. And you, let's say you want some of that. And be like, I want to open it, but I can't go out to the store. And be like, I can open it for you and mail you all your cards. So check out our website, titancardsfl.com. Like I said, it's my job. If it's annoying, I'm sorry, but I have to do it. Yeah, even like the common cards on these just look cool. Nothing really looks like a certain rarity. And I like that. Foil Laguna. So how's everybody doing today? Everyone at home, hold up, playing Final Fantasy VII Remake? Did you get yours a little bit early? I actually got mine last night, and I waited to open it up with you guys today, because, like I said in that video, if you watched it, I had been planning it since that first video I made on the channel where it says we might have some special unboxings. That's what I had in mind. The first class edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I don't know what else I can open. I mean, I do sometimes, like, special stuff, you know, like, I mean, no one, it's not the right demographic in general, but, you know, I'll open up, you know, be like, hey guys, I got this new uh, K-pop album, you know, there's a photo card in it, count, uh -huh, let me open that up. Mainly, it's just an excuse for me to just share what I like with, you know, on the channel, maybe, you know, maybe it's not for everyone, but someone out there might like it. Someone out there might have their ultimate bias as Yesung and like me opening the Japanese Yesung uh, album. You know, why not? It gives me an excuse to dress up, because I don't really dress up on a normal basis, I don't really put a lot of makeup on. Or regular day-to-day -day things, but you know, gives me an excuse. I feel pretty. And just have a good time. I believe we have passed the halfway point in this box. Really digging our Zack foil that we got. I don't think I have it, but I may. A little black mage foil. We have another legend card. We think uh, Lena from uh, Final Fantasy V. Speaking of Final Fantasy V, no, that's Final Fantasy VI, never mind. I'm about to say, I know, I meant to pick it up, but I've been kind of cheap recently, because I knew that the first class edition was coming in, plus the Women of Star Wars set came out recently, and I've been buying a lot of cards in that. But they do have, still available on the Square Enix website, they don't have the Advent Children playmat to go with my Final Fantasy X the Remastered playmat, but they do have the Terra playmat from Final Fantasy VI still in stock so eventually if I get around to it and it's still in stock I'll pick that up get some nice new background for our videos Sephiroth again Delita the legend riding a chocobo oh, I skipped card Black Waltz 3 common Guido. Hope you guys enjoyed my outfit. 
It's a nice excuse to dress up because I'm uh, not quite sure that they're even going to be having Metrocon this year, which is like an anime slash, uh, you know, pop culture convention in Tampa. You know, even if they do have it, might not be the best idea to go, you know, because of, of course, everything that's going around. That's cool, the Kefka, Decidia style. Yeah. It'd be a nice excuse to break it out. Actually, when I was uh, looking for all my different costume parts, I came across some stuff that I did forgot that I had, which was, I tried one on, and it did fit, which was my Slave Leia cosplay. I do have one of those. You know, these are just like the generic Halloween costumes. I mean, that one actually looks pretty good. But, um, not sure on these, because when I bought them, you know, since the time at which I had bought them, I have lost quite a bit of weight. I'm not sure if they will fit, but I do have a Ray Scavenger outfit and a, a New Hope Princess Leia in her white dress outfit. Like, you know, her regular outfit. Not the one from the end of the movie, but just the regular. So hopefully... You know, perhaps both of those will fit. And then, uh, if you guys want, you want more cosplay openings for me, if that's what you guys like, that's what I want to bring to you. We have a lightning hero card. That looks cool. The Tetsuya and the more art. Also from Dissidia. I like the Dissidia. I never played NT, because uh, when NT came out, I did not have the PS4. Like I said, just got it recently. Doesn't really matter, because I haven't played anything. But, ooh, Garnet Foil. That's cool. That is one of the cards I think I need. Actually, so that's awesome. Foil Legend Garnet. This would have been a really good box to open when the uh, set came out. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, if this is something you guys enjoy, let me know. I can try and do it every once in a while. Don't want to do it all the time because if you do something special all the time, it kind of gets, you know, of course, not special anymore. But you know, if you want to see me open more stuff, it's Tifa again. If you want to see me. Open as Padme again. I opened the uh, one of the Star Wars cases, Padme. You know, different things like that. Just let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. Or if you have some uh, cosplay recommendations that you want me to try out, I'll take a look, see what I can do. Of course, I'm trying to do these things on a budget, but you know, hey, it's fun. You guys like it. Like I said I can at least try, right? Poke around, see what I can do. We're almost to the end of the box, finally. I feel like this opening is taking forever. I don't say that as a bad thing, because I enjoy doing all these openings. It's just that means it will take forever to upload. We have a regular garnet. Very nice. Like I said, this definitely would have been the box you wanted to pick out of the case when this set came out. Those garnets were when this came out. And like I said, I think the Zack too was a... That's why I don't remember if I have the Zack foil or not. Because I remember I was at another one of our local shops... Just look around, you know, because this was at the point we didn't really carry the product anymore. We didn't open it. But, um, and I'd seen a Zach, and I spent 15 bucks. And I don't remember if it was the regular Zach or the foil Zach. So, you have an echo. The last pack here. Let's see if we can get anything cool. Anything cool look? I mean, this is pretty cool. I like that. That's cool. We have a Scarmigli owned foil from Lord of Vermilion. Don't quite know what that is. Looks creepy though. Oh, we have a Prish in the back. Nice, we have a Decidia Prish. I put those in the wrong pile. Not like it really matters, but... This is a Legend Prish too. That's cool. She... It's from also from Final Fantasy XII, I believe. It says Decidia here, because it's the Decidia art. But, yeah, anyway, that's cool. So that's it for this box. Let me yeet Sephiroth out of the way. Without smacking in anything. So it was a gentle yeet. Because I do still have all my stuff in the background. Don't want to put it in the car. Because, like I said, this is... I don't know if I said this before, but we are a car shop located in Pinellas Park, Florida, so I do not want to stick things in my car and have it melt. You know, or get warped or anything. But we do have foil garnet. Very nice. Three foil legends in this box. Foil Ultima, the High Seraph, and foil Zack Fair. Whose life was a bit unfair. And then just a regular pile of legends as well. We have a Prish. We have another garnet. Delita. Lena. Vivi, Zodiac, Keeper of Precepts, and Aerith. That's cool. So I think we got a fun box. I like looking at all these cards. I mean, I enjoyed it anyways. I mean, even value-wise, I don't care. It's just cards look really awesome. And if you're just, you like Final Fantasy, you like these characters, you like shiny cards, I mean, this is something that's great for, great for collecting. So anyways, I had a really good time with this video. I'm going to get this all cleaned up, probably fix my hair a little bit again. I think the wig is starting to slide back a little bit. 
just want us to look cute. But I'll get this all cleaned up, and then I'll be opening a box of Opus 4 right up next. So stay tuned. If you liked the video, please make sure you leave a like. Do you have any comments, suggestions for me? Like I said, do you have any ideas or things you want me to do? Cosplay ideas? Leave comments down below. And if you don't want to miss a thing, you don't want to miss any more Final Fantasy, you don't want to miss any more Magic, because when Ikoria comes out, we're going to have so many openings of that. But you don't want to miss any more baseball, basketball, football, hockey, anything like that. Star Wars. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like I said, so you don't miss a thing. So I will get this all ready for the next opening, and then I hope to catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!